Howdy, welcome back to Slide By System. Playing around there on the uh, Black Star Fly 3 base. And I'm going to go ahead and power her off and roll the volume back on this beautiful Jackson Limited Edition JS1 concert base. Love this thing. It's actually my wife's rig. I uh, uh, put this together. She's a little. She's opposite from me. She started in her teens as well uh, on guitar. And she has Squire Bullet Strat, a Yamaha, an early, a 70s Yamaha uh, acoustic guitar from her grandfather, and a uh, friend or frontman amplifier. And whereas I started off on bass guitar myself, uh, and then went into guitar uh, when I was about 16. Uh, anyway, but she was wanting to get into bass. I, she, she can play bass. She, I taught her to play a long time ago, and uh, yeah. <laughs> She she really wanted to get back into it, and I sit, was, sat down. I was like, you know what? What is good gear for a beginner? What would I want? Like, and I don't mean like I bought this based on what I want, but what would like what would I appreciate if I were stepping back a decade and you know getting back into this for the first time? What would I have wanted? And I decided the black. I love black star products. Absolutely love black star. Love the Jackson. I found a Jackson bass, ESP, and several other things. I let her look at them, and she picked this, which is awesome because she already knew I loved the other Jacksons that we had. And I'm glad I mean, she loved the color of this, and I do too. And I love the handiness of it. I mean, just just look at. I mean, this is my hand. I mean, it was just so small and so compact, and three watts, and it's it. I mean, we were, we were about. I mean, you can see where we're at on the volume there. We're fairly high, but I mean, not maxed out. I mean, this thing is awesome. For as small as a, a package this is, I believe that's like a three-inch speaker in there. I mean, it, how can you beat that? For nine, I think it was ninety dollars on Sweetwater. I mean, yeah, I put together a whole bass rig for for around three hundred bucks, including this guitar. We're not going to do the review on the guitar today. Today we're talking about just the Black Star Fly Three bass. And I love this thing. I absolutely love it. We are still using the original factory batteries that came with this thing. <laughs> you know, we've had this several months now, and I, I just, I love this amplifier. Okay, so let's dig into it. Let's sit my, sit my wife's bass down here. Again, I love that Jackson bass. I, this is our third Jackson. We just absolutely adore their their products. I I did have you know the crack fretboard on that seven stream, but I fixed that myself and everything. You know, I, I just I love Jackson. Anyway, okay, so Black Star, big fan of their products. I have been for years. Uh, ever since I plugged in my first Black Star tube amp, I've been in love with their tone. You know, with the Fly Three series. Uh, we discussed the Nux Mighty Light BT before, and that's this right here. And I'll go ahead and pull these back a little bit. You can kind of see they're pretty similar in size. I think I think Nux might be just a tad. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe just a tad smaller on the Nux. I'm saying Nux. It's probably New X, but. Not hard to tell. I mean, they're, they're it's very similar. They're they're extremely similar amps. This obviously the new X is for an electric guitar, and this uh, Black Star is for a electric bass. But you know, they're very similar. I feel like for guitar, the new X probably was the better deal because you get so much connectivity for a hundred bucks with that thing. I actually got paid only fifty for that thing on sale through Guitar Center. But you know. It has a lot of features, but for bass, I don't feel like that's as widely available. There may be a new X version of the bass. I've not seen it, but I mean, this this color is just so awesome, and you get so much versatility with this little thing. So just like the new X, you run off of a six. Uh, you can well, you can run off of a nine volt power supply, or uh, which is their own. I'm sorry, it's not nine volt. It says six point five. There you go. So it's probably a proprietary. I would be careful trying to run anything uh, other than whatever they have designed for it themselves. So I would not, uh, yeah, I would not, don't mix other power supplies. I would, don't recommend that anyway, but yeah, this is 6.5 volt. So yeah. Okay. Or six batteries, double uh, A batteries. And those are, again, the originals. And your control panel on top. I just love this whole aesthetic here. You got your 80s style neon blue and neon pink 
and he, I've been really into retro kind of stuff anyway, and throwback scenes. Uh, I love 80s guitars and 80s uh, amps and 90s guitars and 90s amps. I've been really into it. And speaking of that, if you're into retro stuff like video games and, uh, and movies and you know, if you're into anime, manga, and all the way up into current stuff, and I mean, go watch the calamity. You'll see his mean comments to me on my my videos, but it's all in good jest. Uh, he's he got awesome content, and you'll see some. You'll see me show up on his channel probably here and there, and I'm hoping we can do some collaboration, some crossover here in the future. Uh, but go go check out his channel if you're into modern media and retro media in, in, in general. You know, it's a great channel. Anyway. Back to the guitar amp, or bass amp. You got your Neon Pink Gain, your Neon Pink EQ, your Neon Pink Combo Ratio, and your Level Slash Volume. And this is your sub. You can increase the level of your subs. Or uh, your Gain is right here. Your OD switch. And your Power. Then you've got your standard input, and then you've got your speaker jack and auxiliary, uh, or I'm sorry, not speaker jack, your auxiliary headphone uh, jack there. Uh, and I have, I have tried these with the headphone jack, and it does sound pretty good. I don't have, I have not tried using the aux uh, in for uh, backing tracks yet on this. Um, I will though, I, that's something I really wanna try. I've just not had a chance to really get into it. Again, I believe this is a three inch speaker. Oh, and the headphone that is also emulated out. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and of course. Uh, yeah, so like I was saying, we were only up, you know, I would call that eh, not quite 75% of the way, maybe 70% of the way on the volume. And you, you could, could hear it just fine. And for practicing for three watts, this thing has good output. And I'm really, really impressed with uh, the tone and the way it sounds. And I was playing with the compression for going back and forth between slapping and popping the strings and doing some of that. You know, this is this Jackson bass is very much just a Fender or Squire precision bass is all it is. Uh, and I mean, obviously, since they're owned by Fender, they can do that. Uh, with no issue. Body style, pickup, setup, everything is very much just a P bass. Um, but I feel like you get a lot of versatility even with those, even with just the one type of pickup. And that's not our only bass. Uh, I do have a Yamaha that has P and J, and I've played that one here too. And it just seemed, this thing just brings up the best in whatever pickups I've been running through it, and I love that about it. You know, the compression and the depth, you can change, and even the sub, you can fine-tune those things so much. It's it's crazy the amount of control you have over the bass tone. And that's something that, you know, growing up, my bass amps, like, I had Cheap Rogue that burned out, and, you know, it's... It, I, I'm just so impressed with this thing. This thing sounds infinitely better, and these, this, this four, you know, four knobs and your little sub control and OD, this is more... In a, its own way, even though it's less knobs, more control shape and tone shaping control than even my Rogue bass I had back then. And honestly, I think it's more tone shaping uh, control than what I have on my current Ampeg uh, amplifier for my bass rig, um, which doesn't even have a no, an overdrive section. You have to use your own uh, pedals, which is fine. But you know, for what you get for ninety bucks, I mean, for such a small portable little compact bass amp and you heard it you know in that intro this thing can do whatever you want it to do you know i was doing some metal type of riffs that overdrive I was doing some pop and some slapping and you know it's, it's this thing can do whatever you want it to do and i this bass amp responds so well to all of it and i've been very impressed with it you know this isn't my only black star product Again, I've always loved Black Star ever since I tried their first, my first tube amp from them was uh, just a random plug-in in a Sam Ash, and I just fell in love. And actually, that's what made me buy my Telecaster. I bought it a Sam Ash, and I, because I tried it through that tube amp, and I just adored that tone, and I, I still remember that tone. I'll never forget it. I'm seeking it all the time. And that was a very expensive Black Star amp at the time. I don't have anything like that right now. So, anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. But... You know, this, this, I also had the Blackstar Amplug Fly 2 for guitar, and it, yeah, again, an excellent little product. It does 
great job at you know giving you some tone shaping and for just three little roll dials on that thing this is this is just excellent guys black stars these especially with these small compact things even if you had the fly three guitar which even though i like the next a little bit better for the guitar i still love the black star fly three guitar um i i i almost bought that over the nuts but i went ahead and went with that just because it had more features i felt like for the price and for fifty dollars i was still in cheaper and that's a, a very rare deal rare sell sale going on so anyway yeah i mean this thing is awesome i have not tried it with the uh, external speaker uh there is a little speaker that they sell that you know matches the size of this thing and i haven't tried that yet i haven't really found a need for it my wife has not either um but yeah i even you know her playing this thing she's liked what she's been able to get out of it and i think it, it brings up you know with the two of these together you're getting some major like you know rock and roll vibes here some 80s and even some modern, like maybe some modern darker rock and stuff she's a big black veil brides fan uh huge black veil brides fan actually and uh so you know the whole aesthetic of all this work for her uh i i honestly it's just i love jackson and i love black stars so the combination is just right up there <laughs> right up my alley so yeah guys i can't recommend this enough if you're a beginning bassist i mean you're you portable it is small it is light and capable and, and you can keep up you know at any little jam sessions maybe not with a drummer but with other bassists and learning this is perfect if you're like me and you're just sitting at home playing uh, bass guitar just you know enjoying the hobby uh you, again, this is great, even for some light recording, which I have done some light recording stuff with this, just in my own little setups, and done some music, and I just, I love this thing, it's great. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up there, because I feel like I'm just rambling, and telling you guys it, how amazing it is, but that's because it is. It, this is a great product. Black Star knocked it out of the park with the Fly 3 bass, and you'll hear a lot of people saying that about the uh, Fly 3 guitar, and I think, you know, they are just on it. I love the amp plug, so... All their smaller, like, portable products like this, I just can't highly, I can't recommend more. Uh, yeah, for sure. And definitely check, if you're a bassist and you're looking for something portable, you can sit on the couch and play, which is why I'm doing this today. Just, you just sit on the couch and grab your amp and no power cord or anything, just sit here and play. Love that. Anyway, this has been Slide Bites. Thanks again for watching. Um, try to get back to you within the, you know, in another week with another video and more gear reviews. There's always plenty more to talk about. And uh, it was good. it's good to get back on bass for a little bit to go back to my, my own uh, musical roots here. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Watching you, Calamity.